here this morning. Um, great to be in the house of the Lord. Rain, electricity went off, electricity came back on, everything's good. Um, yeah, the Lord takes care of things. I mean, he throws things up in our our path, but whenever you trust and believe, and like I say, put your trust in him, things work out in his way. And, you know, it's not our way, it's his way. So uh, we have to remember that, that no matter what we do, it's all him. This morning, um, I want to talk a little bit about after... Uh, the resurrection of Jesus, and uh, I'm going. Th- it's going to be in John 21, uh, about verse three, and I'm read a few verses through here. But the ti- the caption of the the title in this uh, the new Internet, or New King James Version Bible says "Breakfast by the Sea," and uh, chapter uh, verse three says, "Simon Peter said to them, which was other disciples." I am going fishing. So we know that Jesus has risen here, and we know that the disciples are just kind of on their own now. You know, they've been following Jesus for three years or so, and now they don't they don't have him there physically to follow. So what do they do? They go back to doing what they know, know, had known before, they go fishing. And if any of you have ever gone fishing, ever gone hunting, you know that it is supposed to be a relaxing um, situation. I had one friend tell me once, he said, there's no way you can go fishing and have any worries about the world because fishing is so soothing. You know, that, that, was, that was the way he got away from things. And people use hunting to get away from the world like that. And if you've never been, it is. You can, you can get out there, get into nature, and see what God has created. I mean, out in the water, out in the woods, you know, God's world is so wonderful. And... Uh, the disciples here, that's what they did. They went right back to fishing. Well, in this passage here, they fished all night and didn't catch anything. Now, that's where it gets aggravating. <laughs> you fish all night, you hunt all day, and you don't see, you don't kill anything, you don't catch anything, <clears throat> and it gets very frustrating. But here, they are uh, they're fishing, and they're up by the... Yeah, not right on the shore, but up by the shore. They can see the shore. And uh, they see somebody standing there. And it is it is Jesus, but they don't recognize it as Jesus, you know, because he's he has been, uh, he's been resurrected, but he's not with them. And it says, Jesus said to them, Children, have you any food? And they said, answered him, No. And Jesus says, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. And immediately they cast their net on the other side of the boat, the right side of the boat, and they caught fish. Now this is right beside where they had been fishing all night. So that just shows how much control Jesus has. Jesus is in control. Um, And then a little later on down here, um, Jesus tells them to bring some of the fish which they've caught, and they come up on shore, and Jesus already has a fire going, and he's got bread there. And they have breakfast with Jesus, and they realize who it is. And it says that they don't even ask him who he is, because at this time they know who he is. So, whenever we get to these places, whenever we're hunting, or we're fishing, or we're in a place where we can forget about the worries of the world, And we can concentrate on Jesus. We can concentrate on what Jesus has made. Jesus may not be there physically with us, but he is there spiritually. And he will reveal himself to you. If if you pray, if you ask him, if, if you talk to him, 
Jesus will reveal himself just like he did to the disciples here physically. He'll reveal himself spiritually. And, uh, man, it, it's wonderful whenever Jesus talks to you in, in times like that because uh, if you can get, get in tuned with him, you tune out the rest of the world. It, it's like, you know, every, they say, you know, whenever you pray, go into a, your prayer closet, quiet time away from everybody, and that's what it is. That's what being out there hunting, being out there fishing, you're away from everybody um, by yourself and talking and praying to God. And uh, like I say, he, that's, that's whenever he will reveal himself, whenever, whenever you really least expect it. He will reveal himself to you and uh, he'll tell you what, what he wants you to do, what you need to do for him. So, uh, so remember that. Remember that, you know, whenever you hear people talk about going hunting or going fishing, yeah, they're going out there to see what they can catch, to see what they can shoot. But, you know, if they're Christians, if they're believers, they're going out there to be with God. Whenever you see nature and the beauty that God has created, it's out there being with God. So, Pray with me, please. Lord, we do thank you for today, and we thank you for the many blessings that you give us. And Dear Lord, we do thank you for these uh, activities that we can go out and, and uh, be in solitude with you, Lord. Be there with you in, uh, in nature to observe your, your work, your creation, and then, uh, and then to have you reveal yourself to us, Lord, and to tell us, uh, what we need to do for you, how we need to live, Lord. And, and uh, dear Lord, we just thank you for these times. And we thank you for today. We thank you for this worship service. And uh, we pray that you'll be with us and uh, reveal yourself to us here, Lord, that, that we may know your word. In Christ's name I pray. Amen.